Welcome back to JazzTime.com. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online. If you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate if you purchase your next watch from us at JazzTime.com. Today, we'll be going over an Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meter chronograph with at 41.5 millimeters in diameter, entirely out of steel with a blue dial. Reference number 25 or 2225.80.00. Now, keep in mind that if you're familiar with any Omega Seamasters of the current generation, you'll note that this is actually quite a discontinued watch. It was in production in the very early 2000s at the latest. So you're looking at a timepiece that is nearly 20 years old as of the making of this video. All right. So we'll be going over the case, bezel, crown, the dial, bracelet, and the movement. And I'll keep be giving you my thoughts on these as we go over them. So between lugs, we have 20 millimeters, again, 41.5 millimeters in diameter. This entire thing is made of steel. The sides, a very nice satin finish with high polish on the very edges there, if I can zoom in for you. High polish on the very edges there. As you go down to the bottom of the case back, it has a helium escape valve for when you do those deep dives. Chronograph pushers up above and below the crown with crown guards and a case back with the Seamaster uh, Seahorse on the back. All right, so closed case back, you can't see the movement, but that's okay. All right, so the crystal is a domed anti-reflective scratch resistant sapphire, so there's no fear of suit threads potentially damaging it. This bezel also made of steel with very nice satin brushing on the bezel on each surface, giving it a very nice texture, a very good diffuse look. So you don't want to blind any sea creatures as you go uh, down 300 meters. All right, which is the water resistance for this watch, 300 meters or 1,000 feet below sea level. This bezel is unidirectional rotating, so you can actually use it as a good timer to time your decompression stops when you're underwater. Uh, for most of us, if you are don't, if you're more of a landlocked human, you can actually use this as a timer to set to match your minute hand and simply just wait until their minute hand reaches, you know, whatever part it happens to be pointing on the bezel, and that's how you manage to keep time using the bezel. All right, it is unidirectional because you don't want to estimate in the wrong direction when you're doing those decompression stops underwater. All right, if we look a bit closer at the inner part of the bezel, right where the dial meets the bezel, you have those minute markings permanent, permanently set. So if your bezel is rotated about and you're measuring, uh, you're using a timer, not using the chronograph, then you can actually use that inner bezel as well to keep track of your minutes, all right, when in reference to the 12 hour mark where it says 60 at the very top. Note that this dial is a very deep blue. It's very hard for it to show up on camera without actually blowing it out, but if I angle it just right, you can actually see those waves very reminiscent of the ocean, all right? And you can actually see the tiny print with Omega's logo behind those skeletonized hands, loom markers with the applied uh, index markers for all of the, well, non 12, six, three, and nine hours. And note that the chronograph also has its own little tiny luminescence there. And the sub registers are actually a different configuration from what we see today. These configurations are, you know, as I said, discontinued with the 30 minute and 12 hour uh, subdials for the chronograph and the small seconds at the nine o'clock position balanced out by the date window at the three o'clock position. Again, comparing this to the newer uh, Seamasters, the date aperture is actually at the six o'clock position. It sort of cuts into that bottom dial. So I prefer this layout specifically because you have nothing overlapping each other. It's all spaced out very nicely and very well balanced. The newer generation with the 
uh, date window at the six o'clock. Yes, it, it does feel balanced, but when you're looking at just that sub-register, it looks a bit jarring, actually. It's a bit jarringly big. This is a very good uh, layout, very good presentation for the Seamaster. And while we're here, we can actually talk about how this works. When you unwind the watch, it actually has this very light clicking sound to the very first position, at which you can then wind the watch if you're at a complete stop. About 20 to 25 winds is all you really need to get it to full power. Pull it out to the next position, and you can actually advance the date, as you can see very clearly behind that minute hand there in that date aperture window. The throw is very sensitive, so if you need to advance the date, say from February 28th to March 1st, be very careful. It takes about an entire rotation to do so. Pull it out to the final position, and note that the seconds hand has actually stopped. I've hacked the seconds, so now I can actually move the minute hand as I need for precise timekeeping. Press the crown all the way back in. Be sure that it is screwed in tightly to maintain that 300 meter water resistance. All right, so what makes all of this work is the caliber 1164 made by Omega. It is a 13 and one quarter round lines with 7.9 millimeters thick with the ability to have the hour, minute, seconds, hands, and all those chronograph features. As you can see, I, I press the top chronograph button to get the chrono hand started. You can have it stop, no sudden starts, no slowdowns anywhere, consistent movement. You can stop it and then you can reset it as well using the bottom pusher. It has a total of 25 joules allowing for up to 44 hours of power reserve. All right, and all together, keeping this all together, we have the framing here with the bracelet, five pieces across. Intermediary links have those high polished flanks with the matching satin finish down the center of those intermediary links, all the way down to the clasp here, which is a double button push clasp. When you open it up, it is a single fold over clasp. All right, and while we have it open, I can try it on, give you some more of my thoughts as well. All right, putting it on my wrist, it has quite a heft to it, and that is, you know, not surprising given that this is a diver's watch. It's made to stay watertight, and it's made to do everything that it's meant to do. Keep time while you're underwater and also looks very stylish in the right lighting, definitely out in the sun. You can see the dial very clearly, high contrast with all the hour marks with those skeletonized hands, makes it a very, very nice presentation. A little bit difficult to see in a light box, but hey, that's what it is. So enough of what I think, what do you think about this watch? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, Hit that like button as well, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch or any other watch, be sure to visit our site at jazztime.com. Links in the description below. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.